Come on, does anyone try and do it? Anyone got a birthday this year? Should we join hands and contact the living? Flavoured condoms. I said, here, yeah, I bought these on flavoured condoms. I said, we're playing my game tonight. It's called Guess the Flavour. Under the duvet she went. 14 top from Dunelm. It's not a shitty. She popped her head up. She says, um, cheese and onion. I said, I haven't put one on yet. This is the level we've gone to now, isn't it? Any young lads in here tonight not married? Yeah. You're not married, you're 12. What? How old are you, pal? 42. 42 and you're not married? Yeah, Have you got a girlfriend? I wouldn't call her that, no. What's his name? <laughs> Which one's your girlfriend? She's my shag partner. I'll be honest, pal, you are picking well above your weight there. If you haven't got a girlfriend, honestly, if you're not married, lay the law down. Honeymoon night, honeymoon sweet. I'm stood there, took my trousers off, chucked them at the wife's feet. I said, put them on. She said, are you kinky? I said, put the trousers on. She put them on. I said, that is the first and the last time you wear the trousers under my roof. She took her knickers off. She chucked them at my feet. She said, put them on. I said, I'll never get into them. She said, no, you won't unless you change your attitude. <laughs> Don't clap on your own for the I said to her last week, I think I've got a problem. She's younger a problem. You are married to me. We have the problem. We are a unit. We stick together. What is our problem? I said, I think we have got your sister pregnant. <laughs> and how, who's on holiday? Who lives here? Who's on holiday? Yeah. Who's got a caravan? Yeah. Who's got a shit caravan? Shower, shower curtain sticks to your ass. <laughs> oh, that's what we're here. Dingles, they got one. <laughs> did you drive away where you from? Did you drive down? Or did, you, did you fly from Scunthorpe? You're from Leeds? Oh, this, this will all be new to you tonight, won't it? Electricity and carpet. <laughs> Gee, I'll tell you what. Driving down here tonight, pull up by police. Are we getting police in? Of course not. Oh. Driving that motorway, minding my own business, police car at of me, I saw him pull over. I said, I'm on the phone, ignorant. <laughs> Stuck his hand out like that, which made me laugh because I thought he's never going to be strong enough. <laughs> Walked over the car, sarcastic, I wound my window down, he said, spot check. I said, two blackheads and a boil on my ass. <laughs> he says, you're doing 80 miles an hour. I said, I've been out an hour. <laughs> This is where were you between four and six? This is junior school, mother. <laughs> Wife sat beside me because I brought her tonight. Saves kissing her goodbye. She sat there. She said he's always doing eighty miles an hour. I said, shut up, mouth. He's here. Shut it. And she said, you realise we're going to have to give you a speeding ticket. She sat there. It's about time to give me a ticket. Learn your mouth. I said, that's it now. You big fat sweaty cat. Shut it now. Policeman walked round to her side of the car. She wound the window down. He said, does he always talk to you like that? She says, only when he's pissed. <laughs> That's when they make you blow into one of the things. He says, what's that officer? He says, it's a bag that tells me you're drunk. I said, I've got one sat in passenger seat. <laughs> does anybody come to Ingemel's because they don't like flying? Which one, big lad? Don't you like flying? Can't you take off? <laughs> Can't you move your hands fast, you know? You don't like flying, I don't like flying. Don't inspire with confidence, does it? As soon as you get to the airport, first word you see is terminal. <laughs> then you walk through doors, final departure, and they take it bits. And the people behind them checking desks, have they got a sense of humour? I put my case on them scales, she went, well, well, well. You are eight kilos overweight. I says, well, well. And you are an ugly bastard. <laughs> she started it, not me. I says, can you send that case to Benidorm and that one to Zanti? She says, we can't do that. I says, you did it last year. <laughs> she said, the case has been left unattended at any point. I says, yes, the apple, that big one there, that's been it off for 11 months. <laughs> she says, anybody you don't know for anything in this case? I says, I don't know anybody I don't know. She 
She says, have you packed this case yourself? I said, do you think for one minute if I had a butler, I'd be flying by easy jet? <laughs> she says, when you get through to Terminal Building, if you see anything remotely suspicious, will you come and let me know? And we're running back five minutes later. She says, whoa, six quid a pint. <laughs> Duty free. I took the wine to some of that new perfume. It's called Tester. <laughs> Thanks for that. Then you get on aeroplane, you've all heard this before. In case of emergency landing, please take the brace position. I.e. put your head between your legs. Well, if I could do that, I wouldn't be going to Thailand. <laughs> Has anyone been to a toilet on an aeroplane? Yeah. Why did they put frosted glass in window? <laughs> Who's going to want to have a shit at 35,000 feet? <laughs> if somebody knocked on that window, you would shit yourself, wouldn't you? <laughs> Have you got to let that when you finally land on an aeroplane? Anybody require a wheelchair? Please remain seated. <laughs> and have you heard them safety announcements? That life jacket, if you go up on water, is now equipped with the latest safety equipment, a whistle and a torch. Picture the scene, you've landed in the ocean, you've survived. There above your head is a Boeing 747 on its way to Tenerife, and you're trying to attract its attention. That don't work, get your torch out, that'll get them, won't it? Can you imagine piloting playing pissing hell? What's that light is blinding, turning off? I come back from the toilet, there were a dwarf sat in seat in front. I thought he looked dodgy. I'm checking my cigarettes in the overhead locker. I opened the overhead locker, 25 sleeves of bent and edges fell out and hit this dwarf one at a time on the end. He stood up in aisle. He said, I'm not happy. I said, Oh, which one are you then? <laughs> I don't know what to say next because you don't usually get this far. <laughs> then you get off aeroplane over end. This is a nightmare. Has anyone flown in here? Everybody flown? Yeah. What majority of people? Getting your cases off that carousel, that's a nightmare. Then you get on your coach, takes you to your hotel. Got off the coach, it's pitch black, midnight. I've got my flip flops on. I stood in the biggest pile of Spanish dog shit. <laughs> flip flops on. I sat on a bench trying to clean myself up. A German got off the same bus, six foot four tall. Tattoos head to toe, looked hard as nails, stood in the same pile as Spanish dog shit. So I've just done that. <laughs>